Hey everybody, so we have some trade news to talk about today. It just went down between the Nashville Predators and the Los Angeles Kings. Victor Arvidsson has been traded to LA in exchange for a couple of draft picks, and we're going to talk about the deal in just a minute. Before we get into it, though, I just ask that you please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. It helps the channel so much and is greatly appreciated, but... Let's take a look at it here. Victor Arvidsson to LA. He has three years at $4.25 million left on his contract. And a 2021 second round pick and a 2022 third round pick go the other way to the Nashville Predators. And overall, I think this is a really interesting trade. Um, obviously, I can, I can really see it from both sides. You have Victor Arvidsson who has declined in production over the past couple of seasons, has also had some injury issues, missed a pretty decent amount of time in 2019 and in 2020. He did play 50 out of the 56 games last or this past season for Nashville, but he only had 10 goals and 25 points. And um, we've seen a, a pretty significant decline over the past two seasons in Victor Arvidsson's production. In 2019-20, he only had 15 goals and 28 points. And in 2020-2021, he only had 10 goals and 25 points. That was after a couple of 30-goal seasons and a couple of 60-point seasons in his three years before that. So, um, you know, for if I can certainly see why Nashville was looking to move him and and looking to you know at least get something for him, get some value for him before his uh, trade market value completely tanked. If he had another down season coming up, um, but I also understand this from the LA perspective because they have picks to work with. Um, they're a team that has acquired through their rebuild quite a few picks. Uh, to in their arsenal as trade chips, and that's what you do this for. That's what you use those picks for, to use them in, in trades uh, like this and to go for it and try and make a move. So Arvidsson's 28 years old. He's got three years left on his deal. His production has been slumping over the past couple seasons, but maybe a change of scenery could really, really help out Victor Arvidsson, and maybe he's going to fit in really well in L.A., um, there's not a lot to lose here. Obviously, a second and a third round pick is a pretty decent return for Nashville. But LA has another second round pick in 2021. They have St. Louis's. They have another third round pick in 2022. They have Pittsburgh. So uh, it's not like LA is really selling out here to go out and make this move because they've acquired so many picks that they have them now to, to use as trade chips. So um, overall, I, I mean... I can see this deal from both sides. I mean, from a natural predator standpoint, you want to get value for somebody like Victor Arvidsson before his value tanks. And you've seen the decline in his production. You've seen him miss time with the injury issues over the past couple of years. And, uh, you know, you want to make sure that you go out and get something and are going to be able to get a decent value in return. And honestly, I think a second and a third is a very decent return for the Nashville Predators. Um, at this point in his career, Arvidsson was not going to fetch a first, um, given the way that he's played the past couple seasons, how the goal scoring has gone down. He wasn't going to fetch a first, so to get a second and a third for him I think is really good, and it clears out some cap space for Nashville, which is something that they certainly uh, need to be mindful of is their, is their salary cap situation. They've got some big contracts on the books there, particularly for Matt Duchesne and Ryan Johansson, so... Um, clearing, clearing cap space. This is a great move for Nashville. They get a decent return for Arvidsson. And I absolutely understand this from the Nashville perspective. I think it's a pretty good deal for them. For LA, I mean, this is a, this is a go for it move. This move is going to work out either really well or really not, but it really, it doesn't matter a whole lot because they they didn't give a ton up from their perspective. Like, a second round pick could certainly turn into a really good player, but they have another second round pick for that for the 2021 draft. They have another third round pick for the 2022 draft. So it's not like they're leaving themselves without picks. If they were leaving themselves without picks, this would be a little bit more risky from an LA perspective, but they're not. So that's a decent, that's a good position to be in if you're the LA Kings. If Arvidsson doesn't work out, 
okay, you missed out on a couple draft selections, but it is what it is. At least you were going for it. If Arvidsson does work out, this could be a very good addition for the Kings. Without a doubt, if he is healthy, he is going to improve the LA Kings offense. Now, the question is, you know, do the injury issues persist? Is he going to miss a lot of time? If that's the case, it won't be as good. But if he's healthy and able to get back to scoring, he doesn't even have to get back to scoring 30 goals a year. If he just gets back to being a 20-goal scorer for the LA Kings, he will improve their top six in their offense without a doubt. He's a high-energy player. He brings a lot of effort. Um, you know, Every night, he's going to the dirty areas, trying to get to the front of the net. He is on the smaller side, and I think that that's contributed to uh, his injury issues over the last few years, but um, when he's going, he's a very important player for, uh, for, he's been an important player for the Predators, and he will be for the Kings if he is able to stay healthy and stay in that lineup, and if he can get back to being a 20-plus goal scorer for the Kings, that is absolutely an improvement for their offense, and at 28 years old, it's not like they're getting somebody who's in his you know mid 30s or anything like that. He's still a fairly young guy. He's got term on his contract. Um, not a bad cap hit. Now the cap hit for you know his production last year at 25 points isn't great. Um, but when you know that he has 50 point potential, then 4.25 million is a very reasonable cap hit if he ends up scoring somewhere around 50 points. And with all the young talent that the Kings have, I mean, they're still just trying to come out of this rebuild. Um, if you know, they could end up putting together a pretty good lineup up front offensively, and Arvidsson could absolutely add to that as kind of a more veteran guy. So I think this makes a lot of sense for both of these teams. Um, I, I really don't think that there's any you know, one-sidedness to this trade. I think from Nashville's perspective, you dump some cap, you get a decent return with a couple of draft picks. You need to insert some, you know, young prospects into your prospect pool to begin with. So picks are not a bad thing for the Nashville Predators right now. And for the LA Kings, I mean, you're not giving up a whole lot from your perspective because you already have multiple picks from these rounds that you just traded. So you still have a pick in each round that even though you got just got rid of two, and you're going for it here. You're trying to make your team better. You're trying to come out of the rebuild. There were some times last season where the Kings looked pretty darn good. Um, you know, they're not too, too far away from making a push to be a playoff team. So, you know, this is if you have a chance like this to improve your team and try and add somebody who can score goals to your roster, I think you do it. And you know, they weren't, they didn't lose out, they didn't give up a first round pick, so that's a win there for LA, and you know, they get a guy who could potentially be possibly a 30 goal scorer for them, hopefully at least a 20 goal scorer for them, and he makes your offense better, so I 100% understand this from the LA side, I absolutely understand it from the Nashville side, especially, you know, they're probably getting a little wary about his uh, production the last couple of years and how far it's dropped off. LA thinks maybe, hey, a new team changes scenery, new opportunity is really going to uh, bring him back offensively. If he can stay healthy, I think he has a chance to be a really important player for the Kings and a really good player for the Kings. So all in all, I think this is a solid move. I certainly understand it from both sides. And I think that this is one of those trades that really you know, makes sense for both sides because they're both looking for different things and uh, they were each able to get what they wanted out of this deal. So the big question now is, how does Arvidsson play in an LA Kings uniform? You know, do we continue to see like 12, 13, 15 goals from Arvidsson like we've seen for the past couple years where the offense has dropped off? Or do we see a return of, you know, the 25 to 30 goal scorer, Victor Arvidsson, and the guy who could potentially get you 50 to 60 points in a season. If LA gets that Victor Arvidsson, this is could work out really, really nicely for them. But um, here's my thoughts on the Victor Arvidsson trade that just happened. He is now a member of the Los Angeles Kings. 
And the Nashville Predators get a couple of draft picks for him, a second rounder and a third rounder. And I think all in all, it's a pretty solid deal. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store donation link and channel memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.